Hey everybody, Rob here for Southwest Florida Television. It is Monday morning, 11.50 a.m. I'm at Vanderbilt Beach Park down at the south end of Vanderbilt Beach in North Naples, Florida. I was just gonna walk up the beach and give you a look at the beach side of the condos, what they're looking like now, but I just wanted to show you how busy it gets here on beautiful days like this. Of course, the parking lot is full. The parking lot here at Vanderbilt Beach has been full for an hour, at least an hour. People just taking advantage of this beautiful day here, 80 degrees right now. Relatively clear blue skies, a couple little white clouds, water temperatures about 65. I'm just gonna take a little stroll, get as close to the backs of these buildings as I can, just so you can see what they look like. This is three months since the passing of Hurricane Ian, and a lot of these buildings still stand empty for one reason or another. Oh crud, it's tripping over rocks, <laughs> blocks. Not watching where I'm walking. Give you another look at that beach. <laughs> Welcome to Southwest Florida in the winter time. Bet you wish you were out here. I can make it all the way up the beach here. I was kind of waiting for that sun to come around here. It's almost around on this backside. All the construction fencing up. All the landscaping gone from the backs of these buildings. All of the beautiful landscaping washed away. If there were any units on the bottom floors of these places, they got flooded. Most of them are parking garages. And any vehicles that were in there got ruined. This is the Vanderbilt Beach Resort and Turtle Club. Turtle Club not open yet. The resort is getting ready to open soon. The condos on the other side are open. They're working hard to get that Turtle Club reopened. It is gorgeous out here. Don't know when the restaurant, the Turtle Club, is going to open. Those are folks that are staying at the Vanderbilt Resort condos over on the other side of the road. That's who's all out in those chairs there. That's where the dining area used to be, the outdoor dining from the Turtle Club. And all the landscape gone. If you appreciate this, you can show your appreciation by sending a tip to my PayPal account. You can find a link to that in the description of this post. I'm doing my best to keep you informed as to what's going on here in North Naples. 
especially along Gulf Shore Drive here. It's got hit the hardest by Hurricane Ian. Gotta watch where I'm walking. There's some big holes down along in here by the seawalls. I don't know the names of all these condos, sorry. But if you live in one of them, you know where, where I'm at. And that's, there was a swimming pool over in there somewhere. This is one of the beach access walkways here from Gulf Shore Drive. They just reopened that one, just put some new steps on the end and some new railings. But you can see these big holes still need to be filled in along the seawalls. go up those steps. Hopefully I have enough battery power and storage power to make it up to the end here to Mariah Bay. We'll see what happens. This is just this is what everything looks like. All the just barren. Just barren from that surge just coming up and right through the first floors of these buildings. Most of these swimming pools were filled with sand. You can see the lines in there. In that swimming pool, it was a disaster. All the garages, the water just swept right through them. The ones that had garage doors, the garage doors were designed to blow out. Anything, the lower units, the newer construction, all the walls are designed to blow out with the water. wind up having to split this video in half. We'll see what happens here. Or I might have to do a walk on another day. <laughs> Finish it up. We'll see how far I get. Just stay tuned here. Stick around. It's amazing how crowded it is. It's awesome. Hurricane didn't scare our snowbird friends away. That's for sure. Yeah. Little piles of sand. Big piles of sand. Trenches. <laughs> it's a little bit of everything ups and downs here, peaks and valleys. Sorry about the fence, nothing I can do about that. Thank you. Doing one right now. <laughs> Somebody saying thank you for the updates. Again, I don't know what buildings these are, but if you're a resident here or a part-timer here, you'll know where I'm at. And I hope you appreciate what I'm doing here. It's gonna kill me over here. <laughs> this looks pretty desolate here, this condo. Doesn't look like it. I hear somebody down in the garage there. 
check out their pool. Yeah, there's cars here. Yeah, their pool is closed. Everybody's pools got ruined. I heard there's some shortages of pool equipment, elevator equipment, elevators, parts on order for a year. A lot of these buildings don't have elevators. Pretty, pretty rough living in a high rise condo without an elevator. Temporary walls of plywood. I believe we're coming up close to the Gulf Point. Take another peek at that. We've been kind of following the Gulf Point of Naples, a little timeshare unit up here. I gotta keep talking over this music so YouTube doesn't hear it and, and discount me there and cut me off of being monetized on my videos that's the dangers when you're doing live stuff or semi-live like this just continuous recording there's gulf point and the building next to it we have popped our heads in there looks like somebody's using it as a place to park and go to the beach this parking garage all wiped out down here. All wiped out. Gulf Point, the swimming pool. They haven't started anything yet here. Any work at Gulf Point, darn it. Looking forward to following the process here, the recovery process, the rebuilding, but you can see that sand is, the pool is still full of sand. Sorry about that wind again. And those walls blown off from the storm surge from the community room downstairs. This is a place, Gulf, Gulf Point, it's G-U-L-F. P-O-I-N-T-E. You can Google it, Facebook it, Gulf Point of Naples. You can see some of the pictures of what it looked like. You'll get an idea of what the backs of these places looked like before the hurricane. All beautiful green. This place had a little cheeky hut in the back. Couldn't see the seawall. <laughs> That's the Floridian Club there. They're reopened. They're still working on the landscaping at the Floridian Club next door. There's the back of Gulf Point. We have to go around all these people here at the Floridian, basking in the sun. Can give you a peek at the water real quick. You can see the La Playa sticking up in the background there. It's gorgeous. I cool my feet off actually. Stick them in the water here. How's it going? Look at that. That is good. A little break from the devastation. A little serenity. Beach therapy. It's an incredibly beautiful morning. Thanks for hanging out here, by the way. Thanks for hanging in there with me. I'm sure it's kind of boring. Get back up by the condos there. beach the sand is looking great they've been really working hard cleaning the sand up getting the debris out of it they started out with bulldozers now they're running a rake up and down the beach in the mornings 
getting the smaller debris. Yeah, it looks definitely the water came right up through all the bottom floors of these buildings, through the garages. The Floridian's looking pretty good over there. If you're a member of the Floridian. Fifteen minutes into the video. Where there were walls, you can see most of the walls have just blown out. And again, they were designed to do that. This is one of those, another one of those little beach access paths here, I believe. It's warm. <laughs> I bet a lot of you would enjoy this warmth. But a lot of you will wish you were down here right now. Maybe not doing this. I feel I just owe it to my friends up north there. See, this was all dunes here, all vegetation. Where I'm walking and the dunes are all gone. You can never see the bottom floors of these buildings. Some of them have actually started replanting. This one, I don't know what they have here, what kind of shrubs, but they survived. <laughs> Pretty hardy, whatever they are, native, obviously. It's pretty amazing. There was a couple places that people stayed during the storm, rode out the storm, and they got tails of the water actually splashing up to the second floor. It was windy. 10 to 12 foot surge coming through here. The remnants of a boardwalk that used to once lead to the beach in the back of this place. It's amazing all the windows are intact. This is really, for us down here, more of a water event than a wind. Up to the north of us, it was both. Fort Myers Beach, Santa Bella. Pray for those people. Man, did they get hit hard. A little beach access there. That swing pulls a little bit higher up out of the ground, but I'm sure it flooded. I go just a little maybe past the the playa and start a second video we'll see keep it manageable for posting we'll call this the south end of Vanderbilt Beach Left. 
to the end of this boardwalk, not much there. Wow. Look at all the sand. You can tell by the roots of the palm trees sticking up and the pool decking. Look at all that sand, the beach that's washed away. the view I think hey again remember who's doing this for you if you appreciate what I do tips are always welcomed. Not out here to get rich, but hopefully I can survive and make ends meet. <laughs> if you'd like to send a little thank you, you can find a link to my PayPal account in the description of this post. Gulf Shore Drive right straight through there. up to the La Playa. We're one building south of the La Playa. You really can't see much of the La Playa now. They put a construction fence up, but I don't think they're open yet. The back is a real mess still. This place has scaffolding all along here. get up on one of these piles of sand so you can see up in there what it looks like over the fencing at La Playa. Sorry about the wind. Got a bit of work to do here. <laughs> I'm glad they left this big pile of sand here for me. I'll see if I can slide down it without going down on my face. <laughs> right behind that fence is the seawall. There's a huge trench, big trench in front of the seawall. That's what the sand is piled up for to fill in there. out to the Gulf. I don't know if I can get you a peek over the fence here at the other half of the La Playa. At the low rise buildings, I think there's a little pile of sand up there I can climb up on. 
you can see the roof of the bar, the tiki bar sticking up over there, and the swimming pools are back. We're back in that area. We're supposed to open the middle of this month. I don't know if that's going to happen. Is what they were hoping. Let's see if I can get up here, give you a peek around. Yeah, at the back here. You can see all the rocks on the seawall down there. All the bottom here flooded out. All their beautiful landscaping gone. Go down a couple houses here and then we'll start up number two. The house just to the north. The playa here is for sale as is, if anybody's interested. I think they're asking around 25 million for it. I think their strategy is they're hoping that La Playa wants it. I know they did for a long time. I actually know the person that lives there. here there's nothing to stand on you know a lot of folks watching the price stayed here over the years These homes, all their bottom floors were washed away, flooded out. All the shrubs and everything gone here. All the dunes that protected us are gone, the sea oats. This one house coming up in particular got hit really hard. It's really sad. The water just went right through it. You can just see right through it. In this feed start up number two we're going to call this the south end we'll do the north end next year so check that out if you're interested in how things are looking monday january 22nd 2023 about three months after hurricane ian devicus devastated our southwest florida coastline hey thanks for watching my friends Tally ho, tally ho. For Southwest Florida Television, I'm Rob Stam. God bless.